Hey guys, just watched all the extended cut, the Mass Effect extended endings. I just watched them all. Uh, you know, I don't hate them. I like them. I think they're fine. I think they're all a bit too happy. They're all a bit too happy. Each, all three of them are a happy ending. So I think that's kind of, you know, I kind of wish one was just straight wrong, or at least two were straight wrong. But, you know, you gotta understand, in my mind, indoctrination theory is still the way it was, and this didn't actually do anything to dispel that. It just expanded on each different ending, and like, the way you'd imagine it went. And, at the end of Destroy, Shepard still has that breath, which means he's like, waking up from something. So the way I see it, here's how I see it, is everything's a dream, Shepard wakes up, if he, dest if he does Destroy, that means he, uh, he defeats indoctrination theory and stays true to his path, wakes up, gets back to work, pulls the trigger on the Crucible, and EMPs the fuck out of all the synthetics. That's how I see it. That's the win. Okay? I mean, this, for all the people that refuse to believe that for some reason, then here you go. There's all three endings, and here's how they play out. And now it's like, you know, it almost seemed a little, they almost seem a little condescending to me, the way they, they play everything out. And frankly, I hope it is condescending. Because I don't need these endings. And people that believe in what I believe in don't need these endings either. They, this already, all these, the way everything played out in these endings already played out in our minds. Because that's the way it would go. And all the things that people shouted out as plot holes and, oh, where's my closure? And, you know, Bioware here really just takes you by the hand and walks you, and walks you through like a sobbing, crying, snotty fucking little child right through a gallery of photos with a narrator just telling you exactly what you're supposed to be feeling. And that, you know, I guess that's what they need. That is what they needed. Because they couldn't figure it out on their own. So, like, all these different plot holes that were so devastating, like, oh, why didn't the, why didn't the relays explode? Like, the one on, uh, the one in that DLC from Mass Effect 2. I mean, all the relays are gone now. Now what are we supposed to do? Starve on Earth? Oh, well, here's a possibility that you never thought of. How about the, re the relays didn't explode? Well, plot hole solved. I guess it, it's a plot hole until they visually show you that they're still there. You could, that couldn't possibly be a poss- that, that's not a possibility, because they had to blow up unless they showed me they didn't. Oh, fuck, okay, so that plot hole was fixed. The other plot hole, oh, how did your crew and Joker teleport to a different planet? Wow, that was a, that was a big plot hole, I remember. Well, they, they flew there. They got in their fucking ship and went to a different planet. That's plot hole solved. They needed, you needed a hand, a hand hole through that. And then, okay, what happened to the Krogans? Well, the Krogans are fine. What happened to the Geth? Sometimes the Geth are fine. What happened to all your friends? Uh, they're chilling. There's Zaid on the beach, fucking in his full armor, just hanging out on a, on a lawn chair, getting a tan. There's all your friends. Like, you couldn't just have that... You couldn't imagine that montage. You had to, like, have to see it to, to, to call a closure. Just watch the credits and go, oh, I wonder what everybody's doing. Because whatever you're wondering they're doing, that's kind of what they're probably doing. You know, Liara's chilling, having, you know, some fancy drinks on, on her planet... You know, and actually, this way is a little bit, a little worse than if I use my imagination. Particularly because of the Krogan situation. Because, see, the Krogan, I kind of liked having the tension where if you, if you let the Krogan reproduce, there's a chance they would overpopulate and get violent again. I liked thinking about that. I liked taking the risk on the Krogan, going out on a limb for them, giving them a second chance. But the possibility of them going berserk again is very real. But in this one, they show a picture of Krogan's nursing kids and shit, so obviously they're having, you know, a really great time. I mean, maybe they still, like, go berserk, but I kind of like that tension where the Krogans can go berserk, so I think this ending kind of damaged that, you know, and I, I don't like that very much. But, whatever. The, the standout piece here was the refusal, like, little sub-ending, where people, one of the other plot holes, which never made any fucking sense to me at all, is how Shepard goes against his character in listening, in just taking what the Star Kid says... Like, to, like, just listening to him and believing him. When in reality, it's true to Shepard's character t to pick the Destroy ending. For three games, you're going toward the Destroy ending. You have no reason not to go for it now. But I guess that would be obeying the Star Kid, and that's against Shepard's character. Whatever. So all, for all those people that wanted to just tell the Star Kid to go fuck off, they put that ending in, and they told you what happens. You lose the war if you do that. Obviously. If you make no choices, you fucking lose. How obvious is that? I love that they put that in there. It's like a big middle finger to all those fucking people that want, oh, I want to just fucking refuse. I want to tell the Star Kid to fuck off. Okay, great. You tell him to fuck off and he leaves and shuts everything down. Cool. Now you lose the fucking war. Fucking idiots. 
So I hope you're all really happy with this ending. You know, I, I'm as happy as can be. They didn't fuck with the ending at all. They just added more, you know, closure. Should it have been in the game from the start? Probably should have. They probably should have just put that in at the start. But then, you know, I think people will probably still bitch. And, you know, no matter what they would have done. So I hope Bioware it, it, it did it in a condescending way. I hope they made a lot of jokes about the fans behind the scenes. And I hope they really make fun of everybody. And, and this ending kind of seems like it's kind of sending and is really hand-holdy. And that's what everybody needed. And, you know, I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys liked it. And I put links to my previous videos if you aren't up to date on, like, my history with this. You can check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.